G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. We'll talk about an overdue video. It's been a few days since Build 171 was released, but this was my first chance to put up a video. So I have for you here some uh, Build 171 gameplay and of course the changelog. Build 71 was a 171 was a huge, huge build in the NS2 beta timeline. This patches do not come much bigger than this. The, the interesting thing about this patch though is the big changes won't be immediately obvious if you haven't been following the game intently. I will go on to the biggest change of all a little bit later in this three minute video and that is the lure binding layer change but uh, I will go into that after I've looked at the changelog and I'm not the most techy person in the world when it comes to engine coding but I'll have my best shot at explaining it all for you soon but for now here is the changelog and you can see at the top there change to new script binding code that is the lure binding code that I'll talk about in a moment and then there's a lot of other little things like improved rifle animation, sped up rifle reload 10% you'll notice that if you uh, if you might have noticed that in the gameplay I just showed you uh, fixed bug causing AI units to stop moving if something was in their way and allow doors to open for, for Max and Drifters. Those are the two probably biggest, most noticeable gameplay bug fixes you'll see in Build 171. They were really annoying in 170 and of course Unknown Worlds has fixed them as they do in Build 171. There's a few other little things which of course you can read if you go to www.unknownworlds.com slash ns2. But now the lure binding layer, the big change, the big thing that Mac has been, Max the Unknown World's technical director has been tirelessly working on. I will have a go at explaining it. Let's see how I go. Right. Natural Selection 2 is built on an engine called Spark, which is written in C++ code. On top of that, the Natural Selection 2 game code is written in a programming language, language called Lua. Basically, these two need to talk to each other, and they do that through something called the Lua binding layer. What Max has done is replace the standard Lua binding layer with his own version of it, which he believes runs a lot faster. And so basically what you can expect with that is performance improvements. And there has in fact been quite a performance jump in build 171. By my dead reckoning, I'm getting a lot better frame rates uh, when I'm frapsing along, and especially without fraps long. I do get a fraps bottleneck when I record these videos for you. But uh, that's not really the biggest change that you'll see with World Build 171 and the new binding layer because the goal was not an outright performance increase with the new binding layer. The goal was to be able to make new performance increases and new bug fixes easier to attain. So now Unknown Worlds uh, is going to find it much easier to improve performance and much easier to implement bug fixes because the underlying code in the Lua binding layer is now a lot cleaner, it's now a lot more tailored to their own uses, and it's a lot easier for them to use. So that's the big thing you should expect post-171 is faster bug fixes and uh, easier performance increases for Unknown Worlds to catch because of they, of course, has have ugh, achieved all the low-hanging fruit with performance increases already. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look out for more. NS2HD videos in the near future.